I wasn't done fighting. I didn't leave the sport the way I wanted to. I've been missing the sport since I left. And Liddell called me out on social media saying, oh, I'll kick Tito Ortiz's ass, I'm coming out of retirement. And I was like, really? Oh, hmm. People always remember legends, and these two guys are living legends. This match against Chuck Liddell, yes, is about revenge. It's about redemption. I don't like him. I don't, I don't like the person he is. I don't like the way he treats people. He's an ass. Tito beat this guy. Tito can walk this guy down. Tito's a bigger, stronger, faster guy than this guy. You know, at the end of the day, he he he, he stuck in the mud on his fights with him. And that was a long time ago. I'm a different person, different man, totally different human being from what I was then to now. Even a different fighter. And Adele's banking on me being that same fighter. I am in better shape and a, just a better place mentally. I mean, I, I'm fighting for my family, fighting for my kids, my wife. When that's your motivation, it's hard to stop you. I'm here to end my career the way I want to end it. My job is to not chuck Liddell out. That's my goal. Six days a week, three times a day, six hours a day, I push myself to the limit even every day. You know, Tito has been knocked out by Chuck in two fights in a row. I don't see anything any different in this third fight. Chuck's gonna be Chuck. This is for redemption. This is for an opportunity to beat somebody that beat me twice. And people don't think I have a chance. I'm gonna show how vicious I truly am. As I stand up Chuck Liddell, he's knocked out unconscious on the canvas. This match against Chuck Liddell is about revenge. My name's Tito Ortiz. About getting an opportunity to fight with somebody that used to be my friend. This isn't for a championship. This is for redemption. This is my life. I'm gonna show how vicious I truly am. As I stand up, Chuck Liddell, he's knocked out unconscious. <laughs> He's knocked out unconscious. It's a victory over his arch rival, Chuck Liddell. He promises to remedy that here tonight.
Tito's came in, he's healthy, he's happy. He's always been plagued with injuries throughout the later part of his career because of his work ethic. It was actually almost counterproductive. He worked so hard every day, eight hours a day, seven days a week, that it caught up to him towards the last part of his career. And now, a little time off, changing around his camp, training at home. This girl, Nicole, able to really just keep his mind focused on the fighting itself, taking care of all the ambient noises around him. He gets to just enjoy time with his children, be happy. And right now we're seeing a guy with the same work ethic, but a little smarter, a little more, you know, more wisdom behind what he does and why he does it. And that's accumulation of why we're seeing what I feel is to be one of the best showcases that Tito Ortiz has had in a long time here tonight. He has yeah. given his body to this sport, four neck surgeries, one back surgery, retina reattachment surgery, but he promises tonight that it ends here, win or lose, against Chuck Liddell. Yeah, and this is the best I've seen Tito look in a long time. I mean, you know, this is, this is the Tito Ortiz that Liddell has never faced before. He's one of a kind. I wasn't done fighting. Now I'm back. It's on. I'm a fighter. Let's do it. Tito, he's an ass. I don't like him. I really am going to enjoy knocking him out. show how hard he's been working and sometimes you know maybe that's what his body needed was such a long break you know when he, when he was in his heyday and he was on his prime he fought fight after fight after fight they called him Johnny on the spot because he was always ready to fight you know, there's many things they have in common and many things they have differences the reason why they're here tonight the biggest difference is that look Tito's here to redeem and fight Chuck Liddell Chuck Liddell's not here to fight Tito that's only just a, uh, an obstacle in his way, another stone to step on to, step over. He's here because over the last eight years, the way his career finished before has laid something nasty in his mouth. Something in the seed in his chest has been growing. He's been angry. He's been unhappy with it. So when he comes up and he's been here preparing, this is the accumulation of a man not happy with what fate guided him to. He's going to take fate into his own hands. And he's going out the way he wants to go out, not the way he wants. Yeah, as you can 
the final stages in preparation, you just feel the anticipation, and he's ready. You know, Chuck has always been a gamer, and watch his gamership go. Here is our tale of the tape for this, our main event. Yes, it is happening again, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck Liddell versus T.D. Ortiz, 48 and 43. The reach advantage, four inches to Chuck Liddell. They are both six feet, two inches tall. But who will stand tall when all is said and done? Let's go into the cage and Joe Martinez. Well, ladies and gentlemen, live around the world on pay-per-view from the fabulous forum here in Inglewood, California. This is the main event of the evening. Three rounds of action this scheduled in the light heavyweight division. Brought to you by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions and sponsored by Fred Loya Insurance. Put Fred Loya in your corner. Also, Fight TV, your number one source for live combat sports around the world. And Casameco Tequila, it's in the taste. Sanctioned by California State Athletic Commission, the executive officer, Andy Foster, and the chairman, John Carvelli. Your three judges scoring this bout at cage side, Michael Bell, Derek Clary, and Ron McCarthy. And when the action begins inside the cage, your referee in charge, Herb Dean! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the judges are ready. These two MMA legends are ready. Englewood, California! Make some noise in you! Angelus of you first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He's a wrestler standing six feet, two inches tall. Weighing in officially 204 and three quarter pounds. This veteran has 19 victories, 12 defeats, and one draw. Presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world from Huntington Beach, California. He is the people's champ, the Huntington Beach bad boy, Tito And across the cage stands his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Also a wrestler, he too stands six to two inches tall. Official weight, 203 and one half pounds. In 29 professional fights, his record, 21 victories and eight defeats. Fighting out of San Luis Obispo, California. Here is the MMA legend and former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Chuck the Iceman. Up at all times. Follow my touch gloves and let's do this. Fourteen years after their first fight, they meet again for the third and final time. Hall of Famer versus Hall of Famer. Tito versus Chuck. The tension is so thick you can cut it with a knife. I was going to ask you, is it crazy that we're sitting here watching these two guys fight right now? Man, this is amazing. It's weird. I mean, a little strange. Though. I'm like, wow, right. this is like uh, right. dream-like almost. What a buzz in the air. The energy off the charts here at the Forum. Man, you can tell that Tito still remembers, and, and Chuck still remembers how to get him. He's got that right hand cocked and loaded, does Liddell. And he's fading away from his lead leg, which makes it difficult. Look, in wrestling, you call it stalling when you back up, because it's hard to take a guy down 
that moves away from you. Because the minute you change levels and take a shot, his hips are already six inches to a foot behind where they were. Big left hand misses. And look at Tito. Tito's Tito love. Tito's feeling confident that, that that swing that did something to him, you know, that, that let him know that, okay. Chuck says once he feels my power, all those bad memories from the first two fights will come flowing back into Tito's body. And Chuck is having to touch him with something, though. Tito's growing more confidence as the minutes tick away here. Well, and he really can't rush in Tito because Chuck's loaded up on that back leg. Yeah, Chuck is remarkably a lot slower than he was before. It's but obvious. He's got that. He's got that power still. You have to understand he has that power still. The power is the last to go. I like that. Aggressives with the right hand with Tito. He just needs to believe in himself here. You know, Tito's using a lot of energy, just building up the courage. Tito, you got this. Come forward. Tito felt that Chuck Liddell's been sandbagging in some of those pad work videos. That he knows once he gets in here, he's expecting the best Chuck Liddell. He can, but what? right now Chuck does not look all that great. Well, Chuck told us that. He said that he's always hit pads or done anything in front of the camera, southpaw or steps off in his non-normal stance, so that way he, he doesn't give anything away to his opponents. Yeah, Chuck can't seem to find his feet underneath him. But for what it's worth, Tito's not taking advantage of anything so there's something that he's still saying that Chuck is still dangerous. He's giving him the respect based on what happened all those years ago. Not what he's seeing right now. First right hand throw by the tail, and he's down on the canvas. But you see that big right hand had a lot of power. Yeah, right now he just Chuck trying to tee off and land on the shot, but Tito is not really coming in with shots as far as taking a wrestler shot. He's doing a good job of throwing his hands. I'd like to see him be a little more confident and just let loose. I think right now, Strad pointing out, it's hard to forget about the last two times he's faced him. Yeah, what Chuck is going to have to do, he's going to have to start building in his combination and, and, and touching Tito a little bit more, get him to cover up, and then that's when he's going to be able to find his shots. But as it stands right now, just one punch at a time is not going to penetrate the defense of Tito Ortiz. No, I by backing out like this and not throwing anything, not taking the initiative. If this just continues for 15 minutes, Tito wins the fight on a decision. Absolutely, and, and not to mention, you know, neither the gas tank has been tested yet, but this is this is a great fight. We, both the guys are at the perfect <laughs> time to fight each other. You know, this is a better fight than, than it probably would be. Look at Ortiz saying, let's see if you still got that power. Fired out a double jab, putting his hands down, goading Chuck to come in, which I think will set his shot up better. We haven't really seen Tito commit to a takedown here. No, we haven't. What we, we, we want to see is Tito commit to a shot. We're just commit. Oh, there are teeth the right hand. Liddell's down, and Liddell is out. You got caught. Chuck Tito doing what's part of his own. Yeah, they're trying to stop him. Ah! That's Tito's guy's thing, man. Right? Let him have his moment. He's waited 14 years for it. Yeah, big punch by Tito Ortiz. Started to believe in his hands. Earlier than around, he missed a big punch and almost fell down, so almost spun him out. But then he went off of that and said, you know what? Doctors, I'm going to really let him have it. And he unloaded a, uh, a big shot on Chuck Liddell. Leveling Chuck Liddell. He did it the way that Chuck did it to him. 
beat him up against the cage, and it was over. Let's watch it again, Rashad. Take us through. Yeah, you see him just right here slipping underneath and then coming right there with the straight, right, not finding it there, but then coming back right there and catching Chuck flush right there on the nose and the mouth there, and they put Chuck out. And he goes in there for a little extracurricular, but then the referee covered it pretty well. And then, it, as you see here, Chuck was initiating a combination here. And in the exchange, right here, you see Tito come back with a big right hand, a lot of power, and just complete crumbles Chuck Liddell to the canvas. And now the extra punches on the way down. What you see here, once again, the big right hand, Chuck Liddell falls to the ground. And, you know, Tito, Tito kept the pressure on from the beginning of the fight and didn't go through the takedown. He wanted to knock out Chuck Liddell. He wanted it in the fashion that he's gotten it twice. And today was a big day of redemption for Tito Ortiz. He can retire in peace, knowing that he's closed out a chapter in his life with a big win over one of the best to ever do it, Chuck Liddell. Well, Tito Ortiz says this will be his last fight. Hopefully for Chuck Liddell, it's his too. Tito Ortiz gets his redemption, and he did it just the way he said he would by knockout. Absolutely. I mean, these two old guys in here fighting, but... You felt the passion, you felt the hard work, and the people showed out. The people came to see these guys fight, and that, that, that is a remarkable. Let's send it back into the cage now, and Joe Martinez. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. Four minutes, 24 seconds, round number one. We have your winner by KO victory. He is the Huntington Beach Bad Boy. Frank Mir in the cage, going to speak to the Huntington Beach bad boy. Hey guys, with the winner, Tito Ortiz. Hey Tito. Obviously, everybody knows. Woo! Can you put into words what this means to you right now? Woo! Jacob, I know you're watching at home, son. Thank you so much for that message that when we talked on the phone before I came into the fight, I've turned my nervousness into happiness because I was happy and I was ready to fight. I love you, Jacob. Jesse and Journey are watching the fight too. Sons, I love you. You guys know how hard that works. I work to try to pay the bills. But I do it to entertain each and every one of these fans. And I did tonight by stopping Chuck Liddell, as I said I would. We didn't even really see you taking a shot attempt. How soon into that round did you realize, no, I'm winning this with boxing? And the whole game plan was never to take, do a takedown. I, I wanted to box Chuck. I wanted to test his skills. You're not taking eight years off, coming back in my cage, and trying to stop me. Hell no. No. Is this really though, you said before going this, this was it. But now you're seeing you, the way you look, the way you've performed, the results. Is this really the last of Tito Ortiz? Doesn't sound like they want it to be the last time. I know everyone doesn't. Um, you know what, I gotta be respectful. Chuck Liddell, thank you for taking this fight, dude. You gave me an opportunity to uh, show my skills. You gave us an opportunity to start something great with Oscar De La Hoya and Gold Boy Promotion, Oscar, or Chuck. Hey, thank you. You pushed me hard, dude. You made me work super, super hard, man. Hey, what's going on over there? See a little bit of the berry of the hatch here. Bring in Chuck. You know what? At the end of the day, Chuck, I'm respectful, man. I appreciate you doing what you gave me an opportunity to do. You're a fucking true champion, brother, all right? Hey. All right, guys, I'm seeing the winner, Tito Ortiz. Your winner, Tito Ortiz, 
Switching our gears. Everybody, thank you for coming. All the Chuck Liddell fans, all the Tito Ortiz fans, California, we love you. All right, guys, hang tight, though. Opportunity for the legend here, Tito Chuck Liddell. Obviously not the results you wanted, but do you feel, though, that did you feel right? Is this you coming back, or is this... You know, I, I you know, I came back and I got, I got in great shape. He motivated me. I, I, fighting him, I was going to be motivated to get in shape. I was ready for this fight, and I just, I got out there, I got caught. Um, I made a mistake, and it is what it is. They say that fighters know. Did you feel, though, you were able to do, I mean, your eyes, your brain stays the same, but does everything, did you feel you're pulling the trigger and just, this is more of a combination of a guy who was just in great shape and a great fighter, or do you feel like maybe you wasn't the best showing? Well, I don't think it's my best showing, for sure, but, I, you know, I... I got in shape. I was ready for this fight, and uh, you know, I, I got no excuses, man. I went out there, I fought, I, I made a mistake, made a couple mistakes. You know, I started just started getting comfortable in there, and then I, and I, got, I got caught. What's next now for Chuck Liddell? You came out here saying that, hey, this was the first step in the road. Is that still the game plan? I mean, I know it's a little soon. Well, we're gonna just have to sit back and think about it. I mean, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but um, I, I, you know, I was just. I got out here, got back in shape, and I got motivated to do that, and I hope I motivated a lot of other people to do the same. I mean, it, it, you know, you, you, I, I was still able to fight at a high level. I was still able to get out there and perform. But. Very motivating for us all to see you go out there and put it on the line. Hey, guys, the legend, Chuck Liddell. Thank you, guys. Hey, this is how champions do it. You have to fail to succeed. You got any, any loss, it's just a new learning experience. Here's an opportunity, thanks to Delahoya, Gold Boy promotion, we're gonna start something new, MMA Gold Boy. Chuck, I would like you to keep fighting. Hey, you said you after this fight that you would step away, you gotta understand, man, I've been training nonstop the last 21 years. This is the best you've ever seen a Tito Ortiz, actually the fans have ever seen a Tito Ortiz, and I gave you the best I possibly could. But I would like you to continue work fighting for us, if you'd like to. All the other fighters back at home, you guys wanna get paid the right money? You guys wanna change the game of mixed martial arts? We'll do it here at Gold Boy MMA, and I guarantee you, Well, you deserve it, man. You deserve it. You deserve it, brother. So, Tito Ortiz, Chuck Liddell, the trilogy is complete. Your thoughts, Rashad? Uh, amazing. You know, uh, you know, it was, it was one of those fights where you know both of these guys are, are older, and we were aware of that going into this fight, and uh, you know it was a big redemption for for uh, for Tito Ortiz, and, and um, you know, you know I'm glad he went in there and he got the redemption, you know, and, and Chuck Liddell. You know, he went out there and, and, and did his best. And like he said in, in his post-fight interview, it, it was more about just the journey along the way and, 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 re, and inspiring people. And he achieved that goal tonight. You know, he's not, he didn't make the storybook turn like he wanted to. But at the end of the day, you know, you don't always get what you want. Let's take a look at the knockout one final time. It came towards the end of round one, and it started with Chuck backing up towards the cage. Yeah, and it was a right hand of Tito Ortiz right there to put Tito Chuck Liddell out and just the covering. Uh, you know, it, it was just too much for, for Chuck Liddell. You know, too much too soon. Uh, fighting a guy like Tito Ortiz, you know, he, he's been busy for the last, uh, you know, for the last eight years while Chuck Liddell was, was, was you know, not doing anything, not 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 competing. You've seen his level. A new and improved Tito Ortiz. He looked confident in his stand up, put his hands down. There really was just Chuck was rusty. Look, he's taken eight years off. Regardless of age, eight years is a long layoff to have that timing that he's always had before, that counter shots. And he faced a guy that, look, he was right. He motivated Tito to come out here. And he faced a very motivated Tito Ortiz. Yeah, motivated indeed. And just, you know, he, but it didn't start off the way that, you know, he didn't look like he believed in himself at first. And it seemed like as each minute went by, yes, I you agree. see Tito start to believe in his hands a little bit more and more. And then eventually, well, able to catch him like you shot. said, it's hard to shake those first feelings. And look, there's two long, hard fights he had before that ended in TKOs or knockouts for Chuck Liddell. Tito's remembering that. He remembers what it feels like to be hit by him. It took him a little while to shake it, but once he did, came through, devastating knockout.